Hello, today I'm just going to do a review on the Sherpak DP19 Vario. Came in a box, uh, base, table, pillar and head part, all separate. Um, very well packaged, so uh, no complaints about that. Basically, the column goes onto a base. The table comes next, but you've got to take the bar off what actually uses rack and pinion otherwise uh, the table won't go in properly but that's explained in the instructions the hardest part in a way is lifting this headstock onto the column but uh, strong person or a couple of people it's fairly easy to do and that is basically uh, how you assemble it the tricks i've done is with a set square I put a drill in here along the drill bit and got a set square to set to make sure my table is actually 90 degrees to the drill uh, otherwise I'd be drilling uh, holes on the slant. Uh, the only other thing I had to do assembly wise was put the lever in here for the speed and lease three in at this side for the action of winding it down. Uh, Sorry, I've missed one as well. Putting the batteries in. I'll just run it round here so you can see. Uh, there's some batteries going here. So you've got the laser light that comes down onto the table for centering. But yeah, that is it as far as assembly. So, simple lock to unlock the table. And the table winds down and up very, very easily. Again, locks into a positive position. So that part of it, yeah, is fine. Uh, noise level is not too bad. Slightly noisier than the other drill I've had, which you had to lift this canopy up after unlocking it and change two belts on three pulleys to adjust the speed. And this one is as simple as uh, moving the lever there. So I've just switched it on. It's coming up at 1,030. If I move that lever round here, just come that way, just pull it round. That increases now, it's 1,800. Right up to the very top, which is about 2,500 RPM. And back down again. So, very easy. Will I change the speed on this drill? Yes. The other on me of one we've had three pulleys. No. I set it to the speed what covered most items. It was too slow for small bits and too fast for larger bits, but I could not be bothered to undo the top and change three pulleys uh, and two belts. So this has made it very easy. You may have seen there it has a speed dial on it, so it tells you what speed you're going at. Uh, so very useful. So let me put a drill bit in now and I'll show you uh, what it's like to use for drilling. So we've got a depth stop here. So if I wanted to set the depth, say I want to drill through half that depth of wood, I can just bring it down, pull that back to zero, that comes up, and then when I drill, I'll pull that down and then it will stop at the depth I've stopped it at. So very useful feature if you want to be drilling lots of holes at the same depth so uh, I that's one of the items I look for on a pillar drill because it's very important to me if I'm drilling repetitive holes uh, to get to the same depth so let's have a go at drilling this uh, piece of wood now so again just bring it around again larger drill bit so let's set the speed bit fast so let's just slow that down running about 950 slightly slow about 800 for that one it's fine I've got a long piece of wood here so I can hold it safely without it spinning I'll then just drill it down and that will stop so Yep, very clean hole, set to a specific depth, copes easily. 
and that would take a lot larger drill bit without any question uh, again I just may reduce three speed down but uh, very good I say definitely at 90 degrees in this piece would because it's the tables being set you have the option on the table to move it to an angle which we'll look at next underneath the table but just tilt it back you may see there's a bolt nut there bolt I would call it unwind that and if I just unlock the table and drop it down slightly if I move it around there there is a scale on the back here for business it tells you the degrees that you're rotating your table so it enables you to drill a hole at an angle uh, with the long piece of wood I didn't clamp it but the table have lots of slots in it to enable you to put a vise on and clamp it down very easily or you could just use clamps on the table it has a ridge underneath so you'd either have to clamp on the very edge or a clamp where it actually goes underneath the table but uh, something underneath there could be easily put across to just bridge it um, something a bit stronger than that but you could clamp lead there and there so that will make it very easy so there's no problem clamping down onto here so laser on it uh, which gives you a cross on the table uh, that is very good if you've got a mark on a piece of wood and you want to go straight onto that spot uh, you can just move your wood around on the table line it up and then you can go straight down with a drill and you know you're on spot only downside I would say is it's battery powered it doesn't run off the mains if you forget to switch it off next time you want to use it you'll find your battery is flat uh, and you have to put a new ba uh, battery in, in there that's the only downside as far as I'm concerned about that but otherwise it's really good and I've tested it for accessory of the laser to make sure that the crosshairs do match up so I've got a piece of wood put a pencil line on it and then dropped it down and the drill matched perfectly with the uh, crosses on so I'll test it that way so yeah good drill um, only had a short while but uh, no problems at all with it so would I recommend this? Yes, I would. Um, I think I paid about two two eighty something of that mark. Uh, I could have saved eighty pound by getting a single speed one, but uh, Vario made it a lot easier. The other thing is sometimes I drill boards rather than narrow pieces of wood like this. The throat depth, so from the drill to the column. Is important uh, to wide boards the other thing is how far that will come down uh, some don't come down very far so if you wanted to drill a hole all the way through that can be a problem as well table is very easily thrown away so if you wanted to drill a longer length you can do that again that would have to be clamped in position so very flexible I like it so uh, yes uh, any comments ask any questions feel free and I will answer on my experience of uh, using this particular drill so thank you for watching this short review I will have some more on me YouTube I have now I will be putting some more on in future so if you like what you see please keep, click the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and then you'll be notified of any new uploads so thank you for watching this.